Hey folks, it's JLove47 and I'm going to share a very unfortunate incident that I had with an acquaintance of mine. You know, some people may say that I shouldn't share this because it's personal information. Others may say that I shouldn't share these type of things because I'll just end up having it thrown back in my face later on. Certain areas of your life you just shouldn't expose for that reason. But you know, for those of you who've been following me for a long time on my channel know that I'm um, an open book and I've always been and that's what separates me that's what make me j love that's what make me jarnell that's what make me unique is that i've never been afraid to keep it real you know especially if it can help someone and prevent people from making the mistakes that i made or prevent someone from putting themselves in the unfavorable situations that i continue to put myself in you know Somebody has to be a laughing stock and I don't mind being that laughing stock if I can help somebody. People are gonna look at me and frown and hey, look at what happened to him, look at the but the <laughs> fact of the matter is a lot of people go through some of the same stuff that I've been through. Getting robbed at the tattoo shop, remember I shared that with you. The lumps and hickeys I had on my face. Remember I shared that with you. All of those incidents and embarrassing moments that I've been through, that I shared on JLF 47 I didn't mind sharing it to help you guys. You know, <laughs> if there's no blueprint, no example, how are we going to know to make better decisions if no one has ever exposed their business and showed us what happens when you make bad decisions? <sighs> Listen, let me get straight to it. I don't want to drag it out. I'm not going to go really into detail and, you know, address all the specifics. But just know that this was an acquaintance of mine that I, I knew for a very short period of time, only about a month, maybe a month and a week or something like that. And um, I thought that he was a cool person. Apparently, um, my judge of character has been off all my life. Uh, and, you know... I admit because, you know, they always say it's three sides to a story. And with j Love 47 you don't have to worry about me ever faking the funk. I give it to you raw, okay? I would admit that I provoked him in a sense. Um, he, start, let me put it like this. He definitely started the situation, but I provoked him. And I acted very immature in the situation as well. I, I was. And that tells me that even though this is not something that I, I tend to do, I have a lot of growing up to do because this could have cost me my life, you know. Um, it was a situation, an agreement that we made. And I put in so much work and effort into, you know, preparing for, you know, this. And, um, you know, he reneged. You understand what I'm saying? And one, I, I, that's one thing that I hate that people do when they renege on something. You know, especially if, you know, I got to put a lot of work and effort into something to, you know, play in my role. And then they just up in a, a, a renege. You know, I, I don't like that. So, um, because of a, a, a misunderstanding and disagreement that we had, um, I sent some some very disrespectful texts. And, you know, you have to be careful of who you disrespect. I called him a bitch, called him a dickhead, called him stupid, said he was crazy and need to get psychological help. And um, you can't talk to everybody like that. You know, it, you know, people may look normal on the outside, but then they show you it's another side. And some people really don't take kind to you calling them names and disrespecting them. And there's going to be consequences to follow. You know what I mean? And, and, and he showed me that. I'm not, I'm not to be disrespected. 
you know and you know a lot of times people think they can just call people names and get away with it and and you know i just want you guys to wake up and not do th th what i did um but being a judge of character i just want to encourage you guys to keep your eyes open and be wise and be smart and they always say follow your first mind and i'm starting to see how true that is because this guy displayed some behaviors over the phone when we spoke through over the last month and a, and a half or whatever he displayed behaviors of somebody that was mentally unstable or emotionally unstable you know, um, just seemed a bit irrational. You know, uh, he he would he would draw certain conclusions that that would leave one mind befuddled be or kind of have you scratching your head like, huh? You know, or he would accuse me of things. You know, get all in his feelings and emotions. Very sensitive guy in in his perception of things and and the the way he interprets things is is just twisted. You know. Um, you would say something in a, clearly in a joking manner and, and then he would say you're disrespecting him and, and really be in his feelings about it. And it's just like, what the, yo, something right here. So he's displayed certain signs and behaviors of somebody that, that was a little off. I remember one time uh, he agreed to come over to my house and it was, it was three times that he agreed to come over and every time he would come over, you know, um, well, he, he would say he was coming over and then come over. And I was like, this is weird. You know, I thought you said you was, you was meeting up with me. And then he wouldn't, he, it was just, it was just a crazy, he, he was, he was a little off. Um, and I should have used judgment and wisdom and saw that, you know, I should have saw that. And, 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 you know, it, it, it almost cost me. So with the disrespectful text, he, he came you know, to my, my, you know, apartment and, and start calling me names and making threats. And, um, I tried to apologize. He was not hearing it. Um, my, my landlord, you know, uh, this a big apartment buildings, three apartments. My landlord downstairs confronted me about it. Um, he just dis disturbed the lady in the back, you know, it's just a lot. He, he banged on the door, tried to kick the door down. I'm gonna fuck you up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck you up. I'm gonna beat your ass. Just acting like a wild animal. Talking about call the cops. I don't care if you call the cops. Call the cops. I mean, just very b belligerent, wild. Like, he was acting like a psychopath. I only showed you a small snippet of the video, but he was much more. He got much crazier than that. I, 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 and, you know, I was just like, I got to do a video on this. I got to do a video on this. People, watch who you bring in your circle. And this has just made me more vigilant wiser and more aware and alert and i'm now going to always keep my eyes open on everything that i see and every person i deal with i have to be better i have to be better because i'm not really allowing good people in my life and i find that this is becoming a cycle and i'm pushing 30 now i have to wake up you know um that's all i have to say this video is like seven eight minutes so i'm going to show you guys the video just 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 be safe out there and watch how you talk to people um and 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 make sure because even though i disrespect them they give him no right to really act like he wanted to hurt me and kill me or beat me up or whatever he wanted to do it, it could have really got out of hand over just a simple text watch what you say to people and watch who you deal with you know watch who you got in your circle because um <laughs> because they 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 look like they're up to par don't mean they all the way up there. This is J Love 47. Here go the video. Peace. I didn't say I was bad. I'm gonna show you. <laughs> you fuck with the right one tonight, buddy. Okay. Okay. You keep talking shit up here. I'm not talking, talking shit. All right. I said I said I apologize. No, I, I don't want your apology. You got me to this fucking point now. You want to apologize? Okay. That's that bitch ass shit. Okay. You keep on talking all that shit up there. Call me all these fucking names. Come gay and say that shit. To my face. I have nothing you disrespectful to say. Fucking with. 
Okay. I told you had a badass day. You gonna keep on nitpick, nitpicking at me? I'm about to kick your fucking door down. You better get ready. Keep on talking shit. I swear to God. You gotta have a knife in there, something to fuck me up or something to kill me. Cause I'm gonna fuck you up. Keep talking shit. You got the wrong nigga. I'm trying to, but this motherfucker keeps doing this shit and saying this shit. I ain't calling no cops. I ain't calling no cops. I ain't calling no cops. And you called me names too, so. I don't give a fuck. You me names first. Okay. And I got the text message proof to call the cops on that. I ain't calling. I don't. I don't. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not calling no cops. Okay, what, what, do what you need to do. Stop sitting on the fucking, if you don't want nothing, go to the fucking house and stop fucking talking to me. That's some, bro, that's some grown man shit right there. I done walked away three times from you and you still talking shit. And you still here acting yeah, like you're crazy. I'm still going to be here and I'm still going to be here. Okay. Keep okay. And I'm, I'm still going to be here. Okay. Pussy, I'm fucked up. I guess what I said got under your skin, huh? Yep, you really did. And I, I you crossed the fucking line completely. No coming back from me either. Okay. All right, so I'll be down I'll be downstairs in a few. You keep on talking to me. You want me to leave? Stop talking to me. Go to the fucking house. I don't have to go in the house. This is a free country. I can come outside if I want to. That's your opinion. That's your opinion, Rafi. That's your opinion. Go to the house or something, or I'll come in your house. I'm not playing. You don't have to come in my house. I'll open the door and welcome you in. Whatever. Do it. I'll open the door and welcome you in. I'm not big and bad. Alright, but then shut the fuck up. I don't have to shut up. I'm not disrespecting you. I can say what I want to say. You can come in if you want. Put the phone down. You, what? Stop if, talking to me. I'm not being disrespectful. I said stop you can come in if, if you want. Pussy. You're out here in front of you my stuff. Stop coming the fuck down to fight me and stop talking to me. I can say what I want to say. Right, you stop being a pussy and get off the porch. <laughs> you think I'm scared of you? Yup, yup, sure. I am? Really? You scared? I'm not scared of you. Come on down right here and say that shit. I'm not scared of you, Rafi. Trust me. Say it down here. I'm not scared of you. It's not worth. It's not worth it. I'ma fight you and do what? Go to jail and fight you for what? Over some text? Who does that? You 37 years old. You 37 years old. You and your feelings over some damn text. Who gets in that feelings over text? Like really? You say you a man, but you not acting like a man. Like what? You really in your feelings outside, four o'clock in the morning, outside somebody's house, yelling and screaming, wanting to fight somebody because of text. Like. Why, why, why do I? Why do I? Why do I? Why do I need to fight you? Why do I need to fight you? I'm not the one. I said I said I. Okay. That that's over. I said sorry. No, no, now what? Okay, and I said sorry. So you need to get out your feelings and go home. I come down. You don't have to do that. I'll come down. I'll come down. You don't. You don't have to do that. Get off the phone. Get off the phone. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm not talking shit. I'm just saying you you, you tripping over nothing. Do want to prove a point like who yeah something gotta be something gotta be wrong like i suspected i'm not calling no damn cops call the cops for what i'm not talking shit i'm not talking shit i'm not talking shit well, we don't gotta do that we don't have to do that
37 years old acting like this. That's crazy. I dealt with 24 years old. Don't act like this. Rafi, you need to go. If you want to talk like men, I come downstairs. I'm not fighting you over no text. Yo, stop fucking talking to me, man. You talking nothing but nothing, nothing, nothing. Because you acting crazy over some damn text. I don't text. fuck what you saying. I'm 37 and what? Tell everybody, 37 and what? Look how you acting. you act disrespect up. me to the fullest. Look how you, look how you acting. Look your ass. Now come on downstairs. Look how you acting. I don't give a fuck how I'm acting. Come on down. Why you in your feelings over some text? Why are you and your feelings over some text? And we fight. What's that going to prove? Put your jacket down. I'll come down. You probably got something in your pocket. Put your jacket down. Let me see. Let me see your pants. I'll come down. All right. I'm coming down. I'm coming down. 